My name is Athar. I'm a fifth year PhD student at the Paul T. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering here at University of Washington. My research area is broadly human computer interaction and particularly the intersection of accessibility, visualization, and personalization. I'm advised by Jacob Obrock, who's a professor at the Information School. So I've always been in the field of computer science, but about 10 years ago, I had a car accident and I severed my spinal cord and I wanted to give back uh, to the community and the demographic that I very proudly represent using the skills that I already had. And one of the biggest problems was the inaccessibility of data visualizations. We really have to ask the question here, how do these visualizations work for people who are blind or have low vision, uh, who use screen readers, which are software that enables them to read the content of their computer screen? Our research found that people who use screen readers extracted information about 62% less accurately compared to people who don't use screen readers and spend about 211% more time on the visualizations compared to anyone else. Obviously, that's an inequity issue. So we created a software called VoxLens that makes those data visualizations accessible to people who use screen readers. How is Texas versus Florida? I understand you're looking for value. Found the following possible results in the data. Cases for Texas is 6,498,687. Cases for Florida is 5,767,014. Cases for Texas is greater than Florida. Our recent findings were that using VoxLens, screener users were able to extract information about 6% more accurately compared to people who don't use screen readers. The essence here is that if we provide them with the right tools, they're able to extract information just like anybody else. So UNIP is the best place to be at for accessibility research. There's so many great professors here. There's so many great students here working in the area of accessibility. The quality of the work is amazing. And I'm so fortunate to have learned from so many different people who are working to really do meaningful work which impacts the lives of other people in the community. My name is Atha Sharif and I am CSE.